The small town of Colma, California has no hospitals, schools, or churches. The population is only 1,600 living, but over 1.5 million dead. Colma does have 17 cemeteries, 7 funeral homes, 1 pet cemetery, as well as 11 flower shops. Death is the number one industry and source of revenue, and the living residents make their living off the dead. My name is Deluki Lawrence, and uh, I've been here all my life. I'm 82. I was born and raised in the business. Bunnings Flower Shop and Golden Gate Grape Growers in uh, Colma, California. We've been at this a, almost a year. A year. Started in March mm -hmm. of last year, yeah. Well, the shop has got to be about 83, 84 years here. How much longer? Yeah. Who knows? This is my dad and my mother's uh, business. I was born and raised in it, and uh, we still have a family tradition that it, it goes to the son. It doesn't go to anybody else. That's, so, what, that's what we're related to. We're, we're related, a cemetery oriented business. Well, most of our business comes from the Italian cemetery because of our location. We, we rented, rent the building from them. Uh, Actually, we were doing some uh, flower delivery services. We had the idea of uh, visiting grave sites for people, delivering flowers, cleaning up grave sites, doing that type of business when we came here. So it kind of just fell into it. kind of fell into it. So we've been learning the flower business for a year. Yeah. I have uh, relatives, my mom, my dad, my sister in Holy Cross, mm -hmm. my grandmother, my aunt. Here in the Italian cemetery, I have my grandmother, grandfather, and aunt. In fact, that's who we named the flower shop after was my mom. She passed away last January and, you know, she was a nanny to everybody. So that's why we got the Italian name Nani. Well, I have my wife there, here, my primary purpose. She's buried in the Catholic cemetery and I have my mother and father buried in Cypress Lawn. I have my uncle buried in Cypress Lawn. I have all my cousins and nephews. Uh, the ones that have passed on, they're all buried in Holy Cross. Yeah, they come in and it's, an, it's a very an emotional, um, after we initially meet them, they become our friends. They're yeah. here and oh, yeah. they share every little pain that they're feeling because of a loved one's passing. Yeah. Well, so it's really um, rewarding. They, they might come in every week at the beginning. Uh, then after a year, they might dwindle down to once a month. Eventually, you have to forget it. I mean, you know, in the beginning, it's a shock. And there are people that will come every day uh, for the first three or four months. They, they're in shock. I feel sorry for them because, you know, nothing's going to satisfy what they, they're looking for. Yeah. We've had people come in who, you know, cry, shed tears, and I've shed tears with them, you know. We have people come in who laugh, and, and we laugh with them. I mean, you know, we just kind of are natural, try to be as natural as yeah. we can with, with the person, as human yeah. as we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I bring flowers to her, my grandmother here, most, maybe every other Sunday. Yeah. Wow. And to your parents, you? Oh, my parents, it's every week. So that's another piece of the business, people that can't make it to the gravesites themselves. Mm -hmm. We do a monthly, bi-weekly, bi-monthly or weekly uh, flower delivery to gravesites. We take photos when we're finished and we send them a, a photo and we bill them once a month. You do get the other, some that, you know, I just went, it's my mom, I want roses, red, red roses, and not much else in it, a little greenery, and, you know, a little yeah. more. Because all the flowers mean something, and roses means love. Uh -huh. And I think you see that more with the immediate family, making something with roses. Yeah. Roses are uh, for giving and for uh, uh, happiness. Uh, Different colors, uh, red is for love, yellow is jealousy, you know. We are, a lot of people look at carnations as the flower of the dead, uh, uh, but I, um, I I can't truthfully say that that's so. The older generation relates carnations that way, but the newer generation doesn't look at it that way. They kind of like the exotic flower. And you know, the newer generation has a new influx of people and uh, choose other flowers, which is the way it could be. <laughs> I think the colorful flowers are more popular when it comes to the sympathy arrangements. They, yeah. they want to remember the loved one and they want it to be happy and bright. Yeah, many come in and it's more of they're celebrating the life during the ceremony instead of you know, celebrating the, the death. So a lot come in and they want colors. But it's, uh, you yeah. know, it's really nice to see that.